Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the HP Compaq 8200 Elite All-in-One Business Desktop PC. Just like laptops and desktops, there's essentially an all-in-one model designed for just about every kind of computer user on the market. There are the power pack systems that are designed to be a family's home entertainment center, and there are the budget models that are designed to be easy to set up and easy to maintain. The HP Compaq 8200 was designed to meet the needs of businesses and professionals while also paying attention to the limited space found in cubicles and small offices. So, is this the right machine for you to fill out all of your TPS reports? Well, here's what we found out. Right. The Compaq 82 Elite that we reviewed was powered by an Intel Core i5 V Pro 2400S processor running at 2.5 GHz that can be boosted up to 3.3 GHz via Turbo with 4 GB of DDR3 RAM. It came with Intel HD Graphics 2000, which displayed content on the 23-inch HD LED display with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. The all-in-one came with a 500GB hard drive spinning at 7200 RPM, as well as a Super Multi DVD burner. It also came with 6 USB 2.0 ports, built-in stereo speakers, full Wi-Fi support, and a multi-card reader. Now we were rather pleased with the processor within the 8200 Elite. The quad-core Sandy Bridge processor runs at 65 watts, earning it an Energy Star 5.0 qualification. But even more impressively was its performance, which managed to handle tasks that we gave it. For example, it rendered video, ran a virtual machine, and ran FrameMaker without breaking a sweat. Considering that it pulled down a 7.3 for the processor on the Windows Experience Index, we expected solid performance. The memory, hard disk, and gaming graphics were all within the 5.8 to 5.9 range, and overall graphics pulled down a 4.7, which we expected for a built-in graphics solution. The point is that this is a solid machine that can handle plenty of programs. What's better is that the system is incredibly quiet during use. Even when the cooling fan turned on, it wasn't distracting or loud, which definitely contrasted with some of the fans we've been working with on some systems recently. In many ways, we found that the 8200 Elite almost took the design of the computer to the farthest point of simplicity and stability with its design. The setup of the machine is incredibly easy. Pull it out of the box, plug in the USB dongle for the keyboard and mouse, and attach a power cord. The design of the system is understated yet professional, with minimalist accents and smoothly rounded corners. We like the angled pedestal stand, which provided further stability than the kickstand approach many other all-in-ones have used. Plus, the pedestal gave the illusion of the computer floating in air and provided a space that we could slide the keyboard under to keep our workspace nice and tidy. Speaking of the keyboard, we found that while it and the wireless mouse were without frills, they managed to get the job done. The keyboard had a bit more travel than a laptop keyboard, but less than that of a mechanical plank. It's also pretty nondescript. It doesn't have extraneous function keys outside of volume controls, and while it didn't have any LEDs to indicate caps lock or other standard keyboard functions, at least a window popped up on screen to remind us what function was active. The mouse wasn't special either, and its black-on-black -black color scheme indicates that it's been designed solely to help get the job done. We did find that the 8200 Elite was quite good in the audio-visual department. The screen was rather notable because it packed a non-reflective display. While a glossy screen can provide an extra level of sharpness, it can be distracting and annoying to deal with the glare from the overhead fluorescent lights, which are standard fixtures in most workplaces. Fortunately, the non-reflective finish alleviated these issues. Additionally, sound quality was excellent from the speaker bar on the 8200, which covers the entire width of the system at the bottom of the machine. It provided crisp highs and pleasing mid-range tones, with hints of bass as well. The SRS audio control panel included with the computer allowed us to adjust the sound to our liking, so we could put on music or movies, run business apps, or hear sound from videos very cleanly. Of course, as a business machine, you want to make sure that the 8200 Elite is robust enough to handle business tasks. Many of the tools included will definitely help professionals handle their day-to-day -day workload. It also comes with HP Protect Tool Security Manager for everything from password management and drive encryption to file sanitation. It's nice to see that HP included basic and more advanced security tools. It even added two levels of system restoration, a partition on the hard drive that takes around 25 minutes to fully restore and set the system up, and recovery DVDs. That may be a bit redundant, but it's nice to know you can always reset the system to working order quickly and easily. So what didn't we like about the 8200 Elite? Well, while most business class systems aren't always known for pushing the bar of cutting edge technology, Limiting the system to only having USB 2.0 ports is shackling a computer to older technology. 
USB 3.0 has now become the de facto standard, and even including one or two of these ports on the machine would have been nice for a system that will probably hang around in office much longer than your standard upgrade cycle. The other issue we had with the 8200 revolved around the video outputs, or perhaps we should say the lack of video outputs. While the system has a decent screen and it can display content in Full HD so you can run multiple applications at the same time, you can't output video to another monitor. This isn't particularly effective for certain professionals that use multiple displays. We found the HP Compaq 8200 Elite all-in-one business desktop PC to be a well-made computer with a lot of excellent features and a few minor flaws. The system performs its task quickly with a clean, space-saving design and a lack of system noise that won't disrupt your office. Plus, it was clearly designed with the business in mind, with a non-reflective screen and a lot of business software. While we weren't thrilled about the lack of video outputs and the USB 2.0 exclusivity, we couldn't recommend this system highly enough for businesses and small office users. That's why we decided to give the HP Compaq 8200 Elite all-in-one business desktop PC a 4.5 out of 5. For more coupons and deals on systems like this particular all-in-one, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash HP. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube, and to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.